This should be uh, up and away in a few moments with our coverage, what I'm sure will be a fascinating game. There is an added sense of drama provided by the elements, actually. The rain has once more decided to appear at this most inopportune of moments, and it is heavy rain. It does not dampen the atmosphere. The turnout here is good. The noise is very good. It remains colourful, but it could be a problem for the players because the pitch might very quickly turn heavy. We'll see as it all plays out over the next couple of hours here. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Hull have gone with a 4-5-1, Jim. Well, this setup, Peter, can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four. But it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter-attacks if you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot. It can have a, a devastating effect, actually, at the offensive end of the pitch, too. So it's down to business here. He's got through. Cuts it out. Keeper sends it forward. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Going through. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Over to the left. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Looking to break out here. It's got through to him. And the finish! Can he deliver? Aimed in towards the centre. Pass needed to be better than... Shapes to shoot! Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, what a... And a shot! Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Goal to the good. Looks to bypass the midfield. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. That's clearly not what he wanted to do. Looking to get within, and the finish! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Plays it out to the wing. Gets the better of his man. And that has been clubbed away. Early ball. That intervention was very necessary. Hoists it forward. Gets it back. Ball through needs to be good here. He's had a shot! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class weight. I say truly wonderful goalkeeping. Oh, 
And it's played forward. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Goes for goal! Oh, well defended. That had to be done. A real chance to break. He's got options out wide. He's got away. And that has been cleared. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. Well, I showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Hull leading 1 0 at the break. So we're just settling back into this second half. Well, 1 0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Well, that's where he wants it. Gets wrestled off the ball. Plays it long. That's gone a long way up and away. Plays it out to the flank. It's a loose ball. Gets good distance on it. a bad place to challenge what's he giving no the referees judged that the offense took place outside the area the referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket it's just a stern lecture Hull presented with the perfect chance here to open up their lead. He's shaping up to have a crack from here. He's had a crack. And that's caused a worry or two. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. Needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. He goes long, right through the middle. Looks to play him in. That's uh, a minor communications breakdown. But there's going to be another change here. Good idea, just poorly executed. How about a... Has a pop! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on. Yeah, he was on. The screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Tries to locate someone up front. And that's put paid to a promising move. He spotted the run and played him through. Knocks it away. He's come loose. Chance to break. Out to the right. And that's been leaving. 
the clear. It's come through. Oh, that's a fine challenge. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Plenty waiting in the middle, into the box. Massive leap! He scores! Late drama, late goal! This will be one frantic ending! A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. This is threatening to become a really good game. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. That's pretty clear, it is a foul. The booking always looked it now this is a potential flashpoint and the referee has his hands full it's just a silly one to give away at this stage of the game he's having a go and he heaves it forward Perfect save from the keeper. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Hold, and hold on. A knife edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, they approach this with a very definite game plan, and I think to a large extent they remain true to that, and we can give the manager a, a big pat on the back. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me, and we'll both see you next time.